Welcome to the video. I'm Greg. This is from Thursday, February 8th, 2024. This is my snow removal routine. I start by coming up to the gazebo, feeding the squirrels and the birds. Actually, the first thing I do is clear some snow. There's a buried wood bench right here. Then I put out some bird seed. And yes, my back did get sore at the end of the day, even after I did some exercises and back stretches beforehand. Mmm, bird seed. After that, take a walk up to the road, see what the conditions are. I took a measurement, it was right at seven inches of snow. So now I'm in the backyard. This is uh, facing south. The building in the background there is the drum room, music room. Now I'm digging a path to the drum room. This is in front of the basement on the west side of the house. Oh, what's that I hear? Oh, it's the snow plow. Just like a kid when the ice cream truck comes by, I gotta go out there and take a look. Not gonna buy anything from it, but gotta look. Then I went back around, looked over the fence from the other direction. That's our neighbor's driveway. So then I grabbed the tripod, went across the street. This is the top of our driveway. The driver of the plow is named Jody. I've talked to him a few times, super nice guy. That thing moves a ton of snow. Then he stopped, backed up. I guess he felt guilty. Maybe he saw the camera, I don't know. But then he came back and cleared our driveway a little bit better. I asked my wife for one of these. You know, I need my own snow plow. I gave her two chances. It could have been for my birthday. It could have been for Christmas. I don't have a snow plow. So now we're back in the backyard. Several months ago, I built these steps. Without them, we were slipping and sliding on the way down to the basement, which was not fun. So the steps solved that problem. Just about done. Starting at the basement, the finished product. Looking out towards the front yard there. Now it's time for a snack before moving on. Hmm, no, 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 no. Actually just putting in some earplugs for the next step.
Isn't someone supposed to go, ta-da, when you open the doors? Anyway, it's a Honda HS80 snowblower. Turn the fuel on. Put the choke on. Put the throttle up a little bit. Turn the key on. Usually starts in one or two pulls. Very reliable machine. Snowblower came with the twin turbocharge option, which was very handy. That's it for the snow blower for a little while. Just doing a little clean up by the gate before I move on. This is a Kubota BX2660 we bought in 2011. Another lifesaver.
so now I'm finished on our driveway. Now I'm at my neighbor's. For whatever reason, it's just a bit more icy over there. So the strategy that works for me is to hit the berm diagonally, dump the snow off into the corners. Definitely better to take small bites and just kind of work at it, kind of whittle it down. Then once I create an opening, back all the way down to the bottom of their driveway. Then from here I push the snow again diagonally, some to the right, then some to the left. Definitely works best. taking small bites out of the remainder of the berm. Last thing I do is drive back and forth where the berm was to pack down the snow. Makes it much easier for the owners to drive in. There you go. The finished job looks pretty nice. Then back at our house, just one last set of steps to clear.
Thanks for watching.